Hi guys, this is Julia from Just One More Card and welcome back to a new coloring tutorial. Today we're going to focus um, on the topic of coloring on white. And the recipe for happiness stamp set by My Favorite Things is just perfect because these cooks, you know, cooks usually wear white clothes, at least until something disastrous happens in the kitchen, they are white. So we're going to create a really fun square card and I'm also going to be using some dyes by Tonic Studios and as always the products that I use are linked in the video description below. I started out by die cutting um, a window into a square piece of cardstock so and I did this on this diagonal like intentionally and this will be my leftover piece that I can use for another project later on. I'm going to first stamp with Versamark ink. So um, I'm just going to grab a few of the smaller stamps from the stamp set and I'm going to stamp them with Versamark ink. Versamark ink is clear and sticky. So when I then go in and use my uh, Perfect Pearls powder with a very soft brush directly on top of the Versamark ink, I get a very nice subtle background effect like this with this light shimmer. And you can very lightly spritz it with water and that will settle it so it doesn't rub off. Then I'm going to prepare my sentiment, which I'm going to heat emboss with white embo embossing powder onto um, black cardstock, because I just wanted to have everything ready. And then I can finally start with my coloring. For coloring, I like to use uh, mainly uh, Simon Says Stamp um, heavy cardstock, because I find that it accepts cop Copic ink quite well. And in addition, it doesn't feather. Feathering means that if you put down a lot of ink, it, the ink starts to seep off to the side, so it goes beyond the stamped lines. Um, that is one of the gripes that I have with Nina cardstock, because that usually happens there, so I'm not terribly happy with that. Um, uh, you can also use specialty Copic paper, but that's usually rather th thin, that's why I prefer the Simon Says Stamp paper, um, which will be linked in the video description below as well. You could see here already that for my coloring, what I actually quite often do is I go in with my Copic markers and lay down the first layer of color um, with the Copics, because the Copics, you can blend them quite easily. But I, what I find often difficult is adding very fine detail, um, simply because maybe I don't got, I haven't got the motor skills to actually do that. Um, so what I like to do is I then like to grab my pencils, which I can sharpen to a very fine tip, and then go in and add very fine details. And by having the um, Copic on, like as the first layer, it makes it easier to blend. Um, because, you know, if you just use pencils, you actually have to add quite a few layers until you get a nice solid coverage. Um, so nothing like white is peeking through. You have a nice gradient going from dark to light. If you do the first layer with your Copics, you basically already put down some color. So you can use the pencils to enhance shadow areas or certain details, but you don't have to spend as much time um, blending color out to make sure they have an even layer of color. I hope that makes sense. It's so basically the Copics are your base layer and the pencils are like your top layer that just enhances what you've been doing. So you can uh, see that here as well. The co I mean, I could have even left it at that, but I like to um, you know make sure that my shadows are really nice and dark. And for that, I really like to use the pencils and uh, combine them with the Copics. Of course, once I've put down the pencils, I'm not going over them with the Copics anymore because I don't want my nib damaged by taking up the pigment um, of the pencils. So Copics first, and once you're done with the Copic coloring, then you put down the pencils. And you can see I'm just working my way here through um, his clothes and the utensils. Um, and you can see here, especially on the scarf, it's quite challenging to get in there with the Copic nib and do like fine details. I know that some people can do it, but I, like I said, I'm, I'm, I can't do that. Like, I don't know, that's too challenging for me. So I just like to use my pencils for the really, really fine detail um, because that's so much easier for me and less stressful. So that's how, that's how I roll. Um, then I glued this little guy um, onto this panel and foam mounted the panel onto a card base, a square card base, obviously. And this will kind of look like the guy just popped out of the frame. And I had tried to use watercolor to um, make it look as if he is uh, like, um, as if he accidentally is spraying soup out of his uh, bowl. Um, but I didn't look right, at least it didn't look good enough in that moment. 
um, so I actually adding I'm actually adding some nouveau drops here on top of like some of the watercolor stuff that I did um, just to create the impression as if he is accidentally um, I don't know throwing around soup uh, I hope that makes sense you know it was just like a weird idea that I had and I kind of had to turn it into a card sometimes my brain works in mysterious ways anyhow I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and you will give um, coloring like white clothes or maybe white fur a try it's really fun um, if you have any questions let me know in the comment section please subscribe because I have lots more videos coming and thank you so much for taking the time to watch see you again soon bye bye